I've said this before and I say it again. Fatima al Zahra was the victim of a systematic state sponsored attempt to eliminate the name of Islam. It was meant to destroy the Prophet himself. It was meant to destroy the message of the Messenger. She died, but her death was never in vain because through her death we now know the truth. It was through the death of Fatima, the tragic martyrdom of Fatima, that we have now exposed the sinister evil nature of the people who perpetrated those acts and murdered her along with her unborn fetus. It is through her death that we know what happened and that we can now make a clear distinction between truth and falsehood. We can now make a clear distinction between those who were good and those who weren't. Between the companions that will be taken by the Prophet to paradise and the vast majority of them that the Prophet will not take with him to paradise. According to Sahih al-Bukhari once again, Sahih al-Bukhari narrates that the Prophet will on the day of judgment, and this is the Prophet himself telling his companions, that on the day of judgment, I will go and I will find myself on the day of judgment with the vast majority of my companions being pushed away from reaching me, being pushed away from reaching the pond of Kotha. And I will scream out, Oh God, Ashabi, Ashabi, these are my companions. Then God will tell his messenger, you do not know what they did after you. And so the vast majority of these so-called righteous companions will end up going into the fires of hell, into the inferno to burn for all eternity for the things that they did after the death of the Prophet, according to Sahih al-Bukhari, according to Sunni narrations. Again, I invite my brothers and sisters regardless of your religious affiliation, regardless of which sect you happen to find yourself born into. What matters at the end of the day is the facts and the truth and nothing else. And to embrace the truth, you have to shed a lot. Perhaps you would have to shed a lot of what you've been told, what you thought was true. Fatima to Zahra is the path to the truth. Fatima al Zahra is the door to the truth. Which is perhaps why the Prophet kept insisting, Fatima to Ruhi Allati Bayna Jamlain. Fatima is the soul that rests between my two sides. Fatima Bavatun Minni. Fatima is a part of me. Man Adaha Fakad Adani. He who hurts her has hurt me. وَمَنْ آذَانِي فَقَدْ آذَى اللَّهِ And he who hurts me has hurt God. وَمَنْ آذَى اللَّهِ فَعَلَيْهِ لَعْنَةُ اللَّهِ And he who hurts God, well, God's eternal damnation will surround him. Fatima, the Prophet has said about her, Fatima to Ummu Abiha. Fatima is the mother of her father. The Prophet couldn't have said it better. He couldn't have put it more eloquently. He could not have expressed the great status of Fatima better than what he did in this statement. Fatima is the mother of her father. If there are people that are considered mothers of the believers, if some wives of the Prophet used to, they choose to abuse the title of the mothers of believers, and wage wars, and spill blood, and kill the innocent. If this title grants you honor, and prestige, and privileges, well, I have a title for you. Fatima is not just the mother of believers, she is the mother of the master of believers. She is the mother of the prophet of believers. She is the mother of the messenger of believers. She is the mother of her father.